everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video on how I got this look right here. This is my go-to look using my favorite products at the moment. So if you're interested, please keep watching. The first product I'm going to go in with is my primer. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Base Primer. I have the travel size of this because I'm still testing it out and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I used to use pore filling primer, but I figured that that kind of balled up on my face and made me a little bit more oily than I would like to be. So I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to squirt some on my hands. I take a little bit of this because I am oily in my T-zone and since this is a hydrating primer, I don't want my oils to show through my foundation. So I'm just going to apply this in downward motions. Take a little bit more. I'm doing downward motions because I don't want the peach fuzz on my face to stick up because when I put foundation on, it'll make me look a little bit hairy and that's not the look I'm going for. Primer is done. Next, I'm going to go in with foundation. My favorite foundation at the moment is the Hourglass Vanishing Stick Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I love the packaging on this. I think it's absolutely stunning. Again, this is a stick foundation, so it is a little bit more on the thicker side. So how I apply it is I just go three little lines down each cheek, one across my chin, one underneath each eye, down the sides of my nose and up around my forehead like this. That should be enough. This is a medium coverage foundation, so you can build it up if you're looking for more of a full coverage. But for right now, I think this is gonna be okay with me. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. face brush and I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Just because since it is thicker, I want to make sure it lays on my skin perfectly. So I'm just going to go again, downward strokes. And you can see here that it is a kind of full coverage foundation for me because it is covering up all of my freckles. Blend it onto the ears. You also want to blend it down your neck so you don't have the line of demarcation underneath here. You want your foundation and your neck color to be the same color and you want it to blend nicely. And going on under the eyes. I'm just gonna spray my brush one more time because it did absorb. And it's looking nice here. It's okay if it gets into your eyebrows because we are going to clean that up later. Now for concealer, my favorite lately has been the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm in the shade Fair Neutral. So you can see I'm getting a little low, it's running out on the sides there. I love the doe foot applicator of this because it's so easy to put product in the corners of your eyes in this area, as well as get that underneath the triangle that you like for the highlighting effect. So I'm going to go in the inner corner like this because I do get very dark there. And I'm going to just do the under eye triangle like this and on the eyelid for priming. Do it again on this side like this and I'm just going to put some down the bridge of my nose, forehead, and my chin to make my skin tone all one even color. Now for this, I'm going to go in with a sponge. You can use a beauty blender, you can use any beauty sponge on the market. My favorite is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge because it does have this flat edge right here to get into the crevices as well as a point to get in the inner corner of the eye. So I'm going to blend all of that together. Now, of course, you want to wet your sponge before you do this, and if your sponge isn't wet enough for you, again, go in with your Fix Plus or your setting spray, and that will just add more moisture so your makeup doesn't look cakey, because we don't want a cakey base. I love using concealer on my eyes as a primer, because I find that most eyeshadow primers leave my eyes very oily and tends to have my eyeshadow break up. So by doing this, I'm killing two birds with one stone. Now, as you can see, I'm going all over my foundation, my entire face, with the sponge, just so that any brush strokes we left from the foundation brush are blended out, and we have a nice, even base to work with. Perfect. 
Now to set the under eyes, I'm going to go in with an oldie but a goodie. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Translucent. I don't like to add any color underneath my eyes because sometimes it oxidizes and it makes my under eyes look a little bit orange and that's not cute. I'm gonna go in with an under eye setting brush and don't mind the ugly faces that you make when you're setting your under eyes. Everyone does it. Gonna go over the eyeshadow, the eyelid as well. And I'm gonna go in the places that I get oily, which is here in the corners of my nose, in between the eyes, and the chin. Perfect. Now we're going to move on to the eyes and we will come back to the face after we're finished. Don't mind the brows. We will be taming those things another time. I'm going to go in first with my Sephora Pro Crease Brush. It looks like this. And let's see, I'm gonna pull out my Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade Latte. You can see I've already hit pan on this. I do have hooded eyelids, so because of that, I do like to tilt my head back and just make sure that my eyebrows are a little bit up. You can do that by holding your pinky like this. And I'm gonna just go right in the crease. I'm gonna create my own crease so that the shadow isn't hidden by my eyelids. So you can see this color is very pigmented and it's easy to blend because we have that translucent powder on top of the concealer to use. And I'm gonna go in with the other eye. Perfect. Next, I think I want to go in with a little bit of a darker color for the outer V. So for that, I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is a Morphe pencil brush. And let's see, I'm gonna go in with the shade Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. It's a nice red brown color. Looks just like that. I'm only gonna take a little bit of this because this eyeshadow is very pigmented and I'm not going for a super intense outer smoky eye. So, just gonna press it on. You'll see that I'm pressing and I'm not swiping because if I'm swiping, it's gonna take the eyeshadow that we used in our crease and blend it all together and it's not gonna look very detailed. So I have it like this. Just pick up a little bit more, build that color up. And I'm only going into halfway on the lid because we are going to use a different shade in this area here. Okay, now for the other eye. I like using a pencil brush because it's one of the smallest brushes I have at the moment and I know exactly where it's going to apply the product because it's easier to handle rather than a huge fluffy brush that just puts product all over every part of your eye. Okay, we're gonna go back in with that Sephora blending brush and we're just going to ever so slightly blend the crease again so it doesn't look like we have very harsh lines. Now this look is very easy because it does only require three eyeshadows and I'm sure all of you have your these colors in your collection and it's very easy to accomplish. The last color I'm going to go in with is Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek. This is one of my favorite Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Uh, I've almost hit pan completely on it. It's a beautiful sheen. It doesn't have a lot of glitters in it and I'm not someone who typically gravitates towards glitter so I really appreciate that. I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush like this from Morphe. Pick some on my brush and I'm going to go into the inner part here where we didn't put any of the brown color. And I'm patting, I'm not swiping again. You could add Fix Plus to your brush if you're interested to make this more of a very shiny color. But to me, in my opinion, that's more of a nighttime look. And since it's noon, and we are going out, I don't think I need a lot of shimmer on my eyes. But you do you. All right, and we're going to go again back in to that crease brush. 
I'm just gonna blend it all together. Yes, you can, can see that some of the shimmer shimmer did blend away, but we will just go back in and fill that in. Now we're going to do the under eye. I'm gonna go back in with that pencil brush that I used for the Cocoa Bear on my inner corner, and I'm going to combine Cocoa Bear and Latte, both of the browns that we used on our lid for the lower lash line. So go in with that, and I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, other eye. And this is the eye look. So easy to accomplish, so beautiful, and it complements so many different eye shades. So now I'm gonna zoom you back out and we're gonna finish the face. For bronzer, I'm very pale as you can tell. I love the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer because it is such a light color. Let me open it for you. It is such a light color and it makes my skin just look like a little bit sun-kissed, which is what I'm going for. So for bronzer, I'm going to use my Sephora Air Blu Airbrush Blush Brush. Try saying that 10 times fast. And I'm just going to put it in the hollows of my cheeks very lightly again because like I said, I am pale. So I don't want it to look like I have a very dark zebra stripe on my face. You want it to be very blended. And we're going to do the other side. I love this brush because it puts on just the right amount of product. Tap it off, go on the forehead. I do my forehead very lightly because it tends to show up a little bit more on my forehead than it does on my cheeks. Just blend that all together. Just gonna put the tiniest around my jawline and blend it down to combine. Okay, super easy with that. Now we're going to go in with blush. This to me is my holy grail blush. This is a blush I will have in my collection forever. Um, it goes with every eye look and I pull it out more than I do my other blushes. This is the Tarte 12 Hour Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Exposed. It's a very neutral color as you can see and it's a matte blush. It doesn't have any shimmers in it, which I truly enjoy because I don't like having the glitter on my cheeks. Going to go in with a Morphe blush brush. Now this is very pigmented, so I just dab it lightly, tap off the excess, and I will blend it right on top of the contour that we just did. Beautiful. Other side. And you can see it complements the brown eyes very well because it's not a super bright pink color. Now for the star of the show, my favorite makeup product, Ever is the highlighter I'm about to go in with. This is the Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop by the one and only Jaclyn Hill. Seriously, how beautiful is this? I love it. I would put this over my entire body and wear it just that. It's, it's amazing. I love it. Now, trick, I actually go in with an eyeshadow brush. This is the Morphe M441 eyeshadow brush. I use it as a highlighter brush because I think it gets my cheekbones perfectly. That is stunning. I like a lot of highlighter because you can never glow too much, especially in this Florida sunlight. You need that highlighter, girl. Put some on this side. Going in a C formation to just highlight the tops. My temple. Gonna go in on my nose. A little on my cupid's bow. You don't have to do this part, but if you're feeling good about yourself, go for it. All right, I'm gonna take a very large fluffy blending brush and just blend all of the cheek products together. <laughs> that creates a more balanced look. I'm gonna go in on my nose. All right, to set the face, and I know what you're thinking, we have not done mascara yet. My mascara is not waterproof, so if I set the face, my mascara tends to transfer, so we're going to set it first. Going back in with my trusty MAC Fix Plus. And wait for that to dry. All right, I'm gonna go in with my mascara. The mascara I'm going to use today is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara.
Mm-hmm. Other eye. I love this mascara because my eyelashes are already very long. So it's the volume that I need. And this, to me, makes it look like I'm wearing false eyelashes, but I'm not. Last thing we're going to apply is some lipstick. My favorite lipstick for this look is the Daringly Nude Matte Lipstick from Maybelline. Very pigmented. And this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.